For years, breaking in an engine has followed the same procedure. We want to get the engine started quickly, run it at 1,500 to 2,000 RPMs for 20 or 30 minutes, giving the engine time to bed together, all the valve train stuff seat itself. However, independent testing may show there might be a better way. Independent testing on engines using stamp stale rock arms in an effort to keep them cool has developed a method using a heat cycling process. They're going to run the engine for 10 minutes, shut it down, allow it to cool for 10 minutes, run it again for 10 minutes, allow it to cool for 10 minutes, and do that one more time. And what this is doing is introducing the components together slowly under a high load and a low temperature, not giving the oil a chance to cook, and it's working out really well. Add cold testing, which measures the camshaft lobes, actually showed a reduction in wear using this heat cycling method. This heat cycling method closely follows the recommendations of top engine builders using high ratio rocker arms or multi-spring setups who advise breaking in on just the outer springs first, run the engine for a little bit, then add the second round of springs in there, run the engine for a little bit, and then go from a stock break-in ratio rocker arm to your high ratio rocker arm, introducing the full load at that time. And what that does is bed the engine together correctly, slowly, and gives everything a chance to come up to spec. So there you have it. That's our new break-in procedure that we'd like to share with you. Obviously, heat cycling in parts is always going to be a good idea. Questions or comments? I'd like to hear them. Leave them down below. And always, if you have any questions, call the tech line.